Alright, so we're taking a look here at section 2.8, question number 5 from my math lab homework. And our goal is to write the piecewise function for this graph. So I can see that this graph is composed of two linear segments. So to write the equations, I'm going to need to determine the slope and the y-intercept for each of these segments. All right, so I'm going to look at the first segment on the left side, and I'm going to identify a couple of ordered pairs. So for example, I noticed the ordered pair negative 5, 0. Yours may be different, so pay attention to your graph. Mine has negative 5, 0. Then I see it has, looks like 0, 3. I don't see any other points. Now, 0, 3 is not actually on that graph, but it is a border value for this graph. So I will be using that point, even though it does have an open circle right here. It is still a point that would be on this line if this line were to continue. I don't see any other points that are exactly on the line. It looks like it's just below negative 2, 2, so I can't use that value. I'm just going to have to use these two. Okay, So those are the two ordered pairs, and I'm going to calculate the slope. So the slope here is going to be, let's see, I'll start with uh, 3 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 5. And if I keep that in fraction form, my slope is positive 3 fifths. All right. Now, I can already see the B value for this line because I can see the y-intercept right here is 3. So I can write the equation of the first line here as y equals 3 fifths x plus 3. Okay. Before we continue, let's write the equation for the second line. Okay, so the second line I can see has an ordered pair at 0, 4. I don't see another one until I hit the x-intercept at 5, 0. So again, we're going to be using the formula for slope. So I'll start with 0 minus 4 over 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0, typo. There we go. And that simplifies to the fraction negative 4 fifths. And I did already know the b value here was 4 from the y-intercept. So when I write the equation of this line, it's going to be negative 4 fifths x plus 4. Okay. Now, for the restrictions and the piecewise function, back to the first line we wrote, the one that was on the left, you can see that that line begins its use at negative 5 and ends it at an x value of 0. So we'd use this function for x values between negative 5 and 0. I do have an equal bar at the negative 5 because of the solid point right there. And I do have a less than sign with no equal bar at 0 because of the open circle right here. So that would be the region for which I would use the first line. Okay, let's make that just a little bigger over there. And then if I scroll down to the second line, this one is going to begin its usage at 0, less than or equal to because I do have a solid dot, x less than or equal to, it ends its use at 5. All right, now I'm going to scroll my graph on decimals over here so I can see the whole thing. I don't currently have the plots turned on so that this one is a hollow circle. If just the points are turned on, I can adjust that if I want to, but it should match what I see in this picture aside from that fact. If we compare this with our solutions here, the differences between parts A and part B is going to be what is going on in the inequality side over here. So part A will be to write a function that goes inclusive between negative 5 and 0 exclusive, or inclusive negative 5, inclusive 0. This one has an equal bar. The equal bar is not going to work for me because I do not want that one to have the equal for its last point. So I will fill in with the equation I wrote for that line. Remember that that first line was 3 fifths x plus 3.
And the second line, the line that went, oops, sorry, a bit too big. The second line, the line that went from 0, 4 to 5, 0, was negative 4 fifths x plus 4. So we'll fill that one in here. All right. And I can check my answer. If you have further questions about this, please let me know.